welcome back to another morning word this is where i share a couple minute video really to share for my own personal bible study why because i wanted to see your life go from here to here and why why do i believe that can happen because i've seen the book the good book work in me and take my life through some crazy valleys to some mountain tops that i never thought i was going to reach and i believe that god wants to do that uh, to you too now i've got to say this i'm not a uh, a pastor, not an evangelist, not one from church or anything like that, just someone who fell in love with the Bible and, and generally wanted to see you go to the next level. Because God promises this He says, As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So if we can think like God, there is nothing that is impossible. Because God says, I come to give you life and life more abundantly. And that's what we want to do with this life. So we're going to get into this. Um, if you're taking notes, we're going to be reading from the book of First Samuel, which is the ninth book of the Bible, reading from chapter 8 verse 4 to 6 and he reads this so all the Israels of Israel gathered together and all came to Samuel um, at Ramah they said to him are you you are old and your sons do not walk in your ways now appoint a king to lead us such uh, as all the other nations have but when they said this give us a king to lead us this displeased Samuel so he prayed to God I'm gonna call this morning's word it's not the external change that is required it's the internal now understand that all around Israel, the nation of Israel, they realized that all these other nations, they had something that they didn't have. Okay, at this time, Israel didn't have a king. They had judges, different people to lead them because their number one focus should have been God. But instead, they looked around and said, hey, well, this, this person's having success. This country, nation's having success. What do they have? They have a king. So they said that what we really want, if we're going to be more successful, if we're going to um, be prosperous like some of these other nations that we see uh, and win you know, the battles that we're facing, we also need a king because it works for them, so it works for us. Now, it says here, Samuel was displayed and he prayed to God because he understood right there the people were focused more on the external than the internal. And it frustrated God because God was like, it's not a king that you need. What you need is me and I will change you from the inside and it's the inside changes that, will, that I will do in you that will allow you to be successful on the outside. Now, what's the principle we can learn? A lot of us will seek this, a lot of us will seek mentors and that's good, a lot of us will seek teachers and if I only had a father and if I only had you know, a better boss or um, if I only had a partner and all these things, uh, if I had more money, everything is external, if I had all these external things, all these different resources, then I'd be successful. And we fail to understand the real success comes from within, your resourcefulness inside. And that resourcefulness is your character. And God wants to fine tune your character. So God, the reason why God was like, yo, choose me, because I want to work on the inside of you. And that, that permeates and works on the outside of you. Now, that leads us really to the question of the morning. The question of the morning is this, are you focused on external factors for, for success instead of character, which is internal? Here's the lesson of the day. True success comes when you focus on internal change, character. External changes are quick wins. If you look for external things, you know, if I can get, you know, if I can get a quick win of money, if I can meet this person, these are all quick wins, quick fixes. But the real success, success comes when you have any internal change, an internal transformation, and that's when you'll get long-term, longevity success, things that last a lifetime. So here's the action of the day. Stop looking for quick wins for success. Look to work on your character and it's your character that will bring the success over the long term. So God bless you. I really pray that you run with this. And as we always say with Gen Hope, God's gift to us is life. What we do with that life is our gift back to God. Please subscribe to our social media outlets so you get these videos Monday to Friday. But more importantly than subscribing to our YouTube channel, okay, on Gen TV, is what I want you to do is actually share this principle. If you imagine if you share this principle that, you know, with your friend and you say to them, actually, you know what God really wants is for you to start working on your character if you're going to be successful. Work on the internal you. If you change that one person, we could change a community. And if we can change a community, truly, I believe this, we could change the world. So God bless you as we always, you know, um, and I will see you soon for another morning.